fresh battery on the chicken. All right. We're gonna use this. That hurt. Well, if nothing else, this has taught me one thing. Where to find the first seen baby? Because you need it for this guy right here. Now that you know what the singing babies are for, you find them and you find that guy. Now that we know the game plan. Now that I know how to get to the real <laughs> the real meat and potatoes of this game, I don't want to throw away this footage. That's the point. because this serves as an informing guide. That is almost full health going into the last area. I don't have my leaf anymore. So whatever, so if my, so I will be dying here. Death happens on earth night. But let's see if I can go the distance. Because if nothing else, even though I didn't get all of the singing babies, this is still a pacifist one. All right, Sid. Now for the toughest challenge of your teenage life. Here we go. Earth Knight ain't happy that you're here. Right there to hide at the right moment, too. Too bad I took a damage from that. Okay, gotta go up top now. Definitely gotta go up top now. That hurts. That hurts. And I'm dead. Damn. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Not mad. All right.
Well, I'm not gonna buy anything here. All right, Sid, you did great. Might as well do a brand new run. Okay. Alright, Stanley, your turn. Can't get that egg. It's harder to get these. I think it's harder to get to the singing babies with Stanley than it is with Sid. Twilight Sword. Also, from what I've been told, there's a lot more lore that happens. All right, Stanley, your turn on this dragon. Let's get some wonderful moon dragon practice. Slice it all. I'm gonna figure out how to ride the bulls one of these runs. And miss that egg. Force my sword. And I take the last egg home. As fun as it would be to slay one of these things, I'm not going to do it tonight. time to slay this guy you sure get a lot of time to slay that dragon
we'll see where this leads us. Because this is a warp. Now, as I've said before, warps can go up and warps can go down. This takes us to the chemosphere. Okay, straight to stage three. stomp that I keep hearing about. I actually performed the mega stomp. Learning things every night. <laughs> Reinforce the shield. There we go. stay on top of this because I do not have the shoes anymore. Well, at least I know where the warp to the chemosphere is. So now the question is, where did that one play? What did the warp that I missed the first time, where does that one take me? Is that the one take me to the stratosphere? I'm guessing the warp in the sec in the mesosphere takes me to the stratosphere. All right then. Guess Stanley can jump on those. Yo, seriously, do they have to have spikes? Come on. A 
I'll take this. And that's it for this one. Well, what do I take away from this, from these two runs? What do I take away from these two runs? Let's see what I take away from these two runs. Wait, where's my music? Where's my music? I hit the warp, but I don't have any music going on. Uh... <laughs> I found a warp, dude. Wow. I actually found a warp. I don't have any of the chicken dragon's eggs, and this is unfortunate. All right. Where's my music? Where's my music? The music essentially went dead. <laughs> what happened? Did I break the, the the audio? I broke the audio. All right. Well, let's talk about what I take away from tonight's full moon escapades. Here's what I take away from what I learned with Sydney. What I learned from Sydney is one, where to find the first singing baby, or which dragon has the first singing baby. Two, I find out which of the dragons has the warp in the second stage. And most importantly, I prove true that if you're playing on a full moon, the moon dragon does appear. So what do I take from Stanley's run? Well, first and foremost, one, I have to practice running along the moon dragon's back. Two, I found out which... <laughs> I found out which of the space dragons warps me to the chemosphere. So, what is there left to find now? Alrighty, so what's left to find is obtaining the first singing baby to get its item. Figuring out that second warp. Finding the warp in the stratosphere that takes me back up. And then... Figuring out how to go the distance on Earth night. All in all, two not as successful as I wanted them to be runs, but they did their journey. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this second part, as well as the previous first part of what I found during the Night of the Full Moon. Show your love, hit the like button, comment, sub, and bell. Let me know what you think. But for now... I'm going to call it a night. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.